Medad Lubega Segona akali amagwa simwangu mulabe duka achiri mu parliament atadde speaker kuchikali lilo na amusomesa amateka gabadde tamanyi ne ba minister ba Museveni kone saba minister bona abadde bazanyira mu nsonga za bana ba fe abawambibwa ababuzibwa ho jeno Museveni awaliwo dasimanya minister wa semwai ayo minister atwala byo bitongo le bisemwai simanya bi iso simanya bi giso byo na abadde yewana nga alaga amampati mu parliament mbuno abantu abo tebali yo mbuno simanya bo tebayinza kwata abantu omukuru segona meda dilwega segona muna mateka wa chagulanyi center mulo bati bobi wine abatadde kakaliriro nalo kabasomese teka amana abo ne bakiriza ne bagamba bakole ensobi okuwamba abana banupu bayite bayite bawambika abala bisizensi yonna na America ne dukana okubanti no esazi zambuli kasende ke bade bawa kankuwe olutalo lubadde mu parliament ngo mukuru meda dilwega segona akali Magua, I will take a card on what's on the take. I want to thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, and I want to thank colleagues that have said that on matters of human rights, we should speak with one, fo one voice. I have opposed the Genome 7 all my life, but I've had one occasion, at least now, to, to agree with him on certain matters. I remember those days when the Honorable Chris Mariomunsi was held uh, at Ginger Road I went again. Uh, in relation to the death of the Honorable Serena Nevada. I had my first agreement with Genome 7 when he said, those who say we kill civilians are idiots. Genome 7 has also told us, especially those of us who were not old enough during the days of Idi Amin, that the, the reason he called past leaders swine was because they did not know, they did not know the value of human life. Let's all agree with him that we must value human life from today on. First, were there abductions and did we have disappearances? And the answer is in the affirmative. Number two, are we proud as a parliament? As Professor Mshem has said we are government. Are we proud as government that some people could not be accounted for in the year 2023 and that we can haggle over that? The answer is in the negative. Madam Speaker, we are not comfortable that some of our children disappeared. They left children Unattended to, I listened to a story of a woman who remained with you the know, child. My thought yes, in this debate would act like what Honorable Katuntu did by coming with a way forward. Now that we know what is happening, how do we advise government? Thank you. Let me advise government as you go. Do we work together to solve this problem? Okay. Let me advise government. Number one, the High Court has guided us in the case of Nicholas Opio versus the Attorney General. When Nicholas was being tried for law for a long time without readiness on the part of government, the court gave timelines, and what the state did was to withdraw. For those people that you have failed to prosecute for years, be humble and withdraw because release because you cannot prosecute them. Madam Speaker, I am an example. I'm a living example. In the year 2008, I was kidnapped. I was charged. 15 years down the road, I'm on bail. So, there, But there are those that are not on bail. The issue has been understood. That's point number one. Number two, and I'm advising government, as you asked me. Number two, we have disagreed as politicians on what to do with these people who are allegedly in disappearance. Let's get somebody, let's get an arbiter. The constitution gave us an arbiter and that is the judicial arm. Let's appoint a judicial committee, a, a judicial commission of inquiry where everybody will go and present and we shall all be bound. I am alive to the financial implications that have been alluded to by my brother. Honorable Katuntu, very alive. That's why we, we are proposing to come up with a joint position 
as government if we agree it will come with the certificate of so financial so we are all now government yes thank you very much okay, we are i'm happy you have agreed your government number three the, the issue Madam Speaker. the issue that was raised with by honorable cartoon to at uh, affects article 93 it has a financial implication of us getting a judicial service commission that's why it comes from all of us yes uh, let's agree let's agree number four this security organize organizers of ours we made a law the security organizations act in section four we did forbid them from arresting and detaining let them stop are you not embarrassed colleagues in government and now i'm talking about us <laughs> that somebody is in police custody today. The following day, they say, we handed him over to CMI and he's missing. And he's missing for years. Honorable members, honorable colleagues, let us stop. Let us give confidence and equipment to our police to do their work. Let the security organizations do their work. I can see the, pro the trouble with my brother, General Mohoz. General Mohoz is the Minister of State for internal affairs but he's not in charge of the people abducting he's here speaking the english call it being the ugly face of the devil the person in charge of the abducting institutions is genom muwezi he's not here sorry for the Genom crossness of the name genom muwezi security we are that, dealing with that, cmi we are dealing with iso because police had these people in custody and handed them over to CMI. The drones are not operated by the police. He wants, to, he wants to clear something. Just let him clear. I know. For the record, the CMI is not under the Honorable Jim. It's under UPDF. And, under the Honorable both here. And the Honorable both. <laughs> oh, I'm happy now that I have the suspect. The suspect. Yeah. And I have the suspect closest <laughs> to me and to my heart. I, and I, I want to thank Geno, Geno Mhozi. For, for correcting me on that. But we have ISO. Now, now that both of both honorable is here, he, let, let's see a commitment that his forces are going to comply with the law. Honorable both of both. We made a law and we said, your people should not arrest and detain citizens. And beyond detaining, you're detaining unconstitutionally. I want you to express your pride on the microphone and say we are doing the right thing under the, the Constitution and under the Act. Right, Honorable Speaker. Let's agree. I agree with the Honorable Katuntu that we have our committees and we should empower them to work. And these committees include the Committee on Human Rights, which, for the record we have stated before, is an oversight committee and is not a sectoral committee. It should not be the other side, it should be this side. That notwithstanding, and I have immense respect for the committee, as well as some fair respect for the Honorable Fox Odoi, and I will explain why fair. Why fair? Because he's the only one who has disagreed with the entire house. And uh, that notwithstanding, Madam Speaker, even a select committee is a committee of parliament. It is envisaged in the rules to do a specialized job. And we have done it before. And that one is done by none other than the person we trust most in this house. It is you, the Speaker. Madam, sit in that chair. Take that decision. Appoint this select committee. For those other issues that we cannot agree on as politicians, let us refer them. Indeed, I am very happy the Honorable Minister for Justice has come out to say that as government, and I quote him, we are stuck naked on the issue of human rights. Now, I want all of us to wash ourselves clean. Let's appoint a committee that is purely professional, that is devoid of political biases, that will bring all of us together. It is a discretion, I agree, a discretion of the minister. That's why we are here to appeal to the minister 
Unfortunately, he's not here. Oh, the deputy is here. I'm glad that the deputy minister for justice is here. Clarification is never denied, especially from a person like me. Be respectful, Honorable. Uh, thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker. I thank Honorable Segona for yielding the floor. You insinuate that committees of the House produce biased work. Could you clarify? Because you are saying a select committee is the only one, just hold down, is the only one which can give work which is professional and biased, as if the various committees which we constitute in the House cannot give objective and professional work. Could you clarify? I'm very happy. One of our members, before, uh, before you, first of all, the committees that we have are very professional committees. And the committees do a very good job. One of my best committees in this house is uh, uh, Park Central. Park Central, headed by none other than uh, Honorable Segona and uh, Honorable uh, Asuman. It's one of the best committees. And, and, and less like what Honorable our committees, unless we don't have a line committee that should be able to handle this. Now, we have a committee of human rights, and the person you have there is actually a very good person. Human rights. All honorable members, we need to agree on this. Let human rights handle that issue where, where they, there is a problem then we shall we shall intervene. I have two I have two two suggestions. One get a select committee, and then the other one get a, 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 the line a, the line committee. I'm put, I'm going to put a question. I have to clarify. I've been misrepresented on the record, Madam, right honourable speaker with immense respect to my brother, the Honorable Dr. Chris Bariomos, actually he has reinforced my position by seeking this clarification. I have trust in our committees. I only said on those matters where we have disagreed, not, not, not disrespected, we go, we have disagreed on matters to do with how to handle the missing persons. I suggested a commission of inquiry with respect to the committee issues of the Honorable Fox Odoi, who is a senior to me, I guess not by, by age, but uh, uh, length in uh, legal practice, I only said the the select, a select committee is equally a committee of the House. I was shielding him the, because this committee has handled these matters and we have not come to a conclusion. We are still haggling. We are still fighting and we want to remain united. The speaker in choosing a select committee is guided by specific considerations. For example, the professions of the members is choosing, the experience she is choosing, the experience of the members she's choosing, the, 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 the collectedness of the members she is choosing. And of course, the numerics in terms of numbers. You want to get people that are fewer and therefore dedicate sufficient time to address the issues in contention. Finally, Madam Speaker, it hurts all of us, it hurts all of us, that in the year 2023, when we are losing people to COVID-19, we are losing people to HIV, we can still lose people with our own negative interventions. I pray that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's let's reduce the time. Let me have uh, Tim. Mm. Uh, Medad Lubega Segona Akaliamagua 
abwate nsonga wa zilambise mu nambika ya chisajja chikuru era abalese bonna banyenya mitwe abadde bebu za magezi ngagabaze abanji bade bagalo kufule nsonge eno eyo butalimu naye ngo ya chiruma okubanga fetuza mu kulya bitumbu watu za mukuwe ya jaga mukuwe ya gala ngatuza nyina ku musayi gwa abana ababuzibwawo abatamanyikidwa ku maiti abatamanyikidwa ko jebali asunule butunuzi wetu tyo biteo biteo bitambule nenga abami baba chala abata taba abana abana baba chala abana baba abami bali mu buzi bwewo twali amanyikidwa ku waje bali twali abalaba ko twali abasanga twali ayinza kutuwa waje bali nga tuli wano mutwe yogeza we yogeza elinga abantu bafebe yongera okubula eno government ya museven eri mutubu zabuza bali mutujja kumulamwa bali mukwejja ko eri pressure ebaddewo bali mukwedda abulula bejja ko pressure bali mukufuna chikowe bali muchiwejjo wejjo ndi f2 onye nenga tushayi no kubanja abantu bafe tetukiriza kugenda no je batu twala batu jja kumulamwa okubanja abantu bafe bo bagende maso ne bikolobero a twagala abantu bafe mbatuwe twagala chibala ma John Bosco na balala tubeta aga mangu ne mbiro wan tunga mtu wa dabantu bafe au wetuli au mkuru mathasi mbuga atugama anti tebagenda kudda mu parliament ngati bantu wadde bantu bafe bano katika tulinde binajja fwe tujo bantu kena kubatu bibawa kale mbagala nyo omukama atonda sajira banku mira tujja kubatu damtu yogere bigambo bataimwe